Hello, my beautiful YouTubers. Hello. <laughs> what is going on? I said hello twice. Whatever. Uh, my name is Tessa. This is Tessa's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. This is your mid-November 2020 Oracle and Tarot reading. Before I get started, just to kind of let you know, I'm doing things a little bit differently uh, this time around. I'm kind of just going with the flow. I'm pulling the zodiac signs as I film, just so I can kind of like chit chat and just be a little bit more in the moment and um, get myself into a more natural rhythm with the universe. That's kind of just been my jam lately because I have so many different things that I have to do and so many different things going on. And like every single time I try to establish a routine for myself, it just does not work out. <laughs> just like, it just ends up stressing me out and the universe is just kind of like, nope, that's not how you're gonna do it. That's not how you're gonna do it, you know? So I'm just kind of getting more into a, you know, let's just get on this boat and just go down the river and just kind of do things like that, you know? So that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm on right now. While still, it's kind of like, I'm doing that while still staying on top of like certain things Certain, certain timelines. It's like I am staying on top of certain timelines, but I'm not. I know. It's it's a complete oxymoron. It's completely contradictory. It makes no fucking sense. It's a total paradox. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think because I'm like a Sagittarius and I need to constantly be doing things and I need to constantly be doing, involving myself in creative projects and doing this and doing that and like staying. Because like I literally get depressed. I'm miserable. If I'm not busy, if I'm not working, I'm miserable. But then when I'm working too much and I'm doing too much, I'm miserable. So it's like if I, <laughs> it's like trying to find the fucking balance. It's crazy. So anyway, I'm shuffling the Zodiac Oracle to see who the fuck I'm talking to. <laughs> because like I said, I'm going with the flow and I didn't want to do the Zodiac signs in order. I how did Gemini? Oh, that's not right. Sorry, the last video I did was Gemini. And I guess I put the card in the wrong pile. Oops. Is, uh, I'll do one more shuffle. Virgo! <laughs> there. Virgo. Oh my god. Okay, Virgo. So... You are the chosen one. <laughs> You're like, I knew it was me. Obviously. Oh my goodness. One of these days I'm gonna, one of these days I'm gonna just like get on here and I'm just gonna babble my fucking ass off about time travel. And about time loops. And about cycles. I've been talking about wanting to expand my channel and do different kinds of videos for months. When it's actually going to happen, who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But it's probably going to happen at some point. Because that's just me. I need to expand, okay? Ari, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm owned by Jupiter. Jupiter is my ruler. And I need to fucking expand. <laughs> Otherwise, I die. <laughs> like, I die. All right, there we go. let's get into this. Okay, so this is your mid-November 2020 Oracle and Tarot reading. I'm using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle and Spellcast, Modern Spellcasters Tarot. Uh, this is a general reading. Might not resonate for everybody. It is also timeless. So if you do come across this video, and it's not mid-November 2020, it's a completely different month and a completely different year, it's okay. Because it might still resonate with you. Because time works in multiple dimensions. Time is multi-dimensional. Time technically doesn't even exist. But you know, if we're going to break it down and if we're really going to start talking about it in terms of like what it is, what it really is, like what is it really, it's multi-dimensional. It exists in, in like layers, different modes of thought. 
Okay, Discernment. I actually really love this card. Discernment is about reading between the lines, okay? It's about keeping your mouth shut and looking with your eyes and your ears. It's about keeping your eyes shut and learning through your ears and your other senses, your nose. It's about keeping your ears shut and learning with your eyes and with your speech, okay? So it's about reading between the lines, looking at things from different perspectives, looking at things a little bit closer. Um, looking at things from different angles, breaking things down to a degree of like being able to establish a connection and being able to establish a like a conclusion about something. Listening, okay? <clears throat> and whenever I see this listening card, I never think about it in in the general sense of listening. Like, oh yeah, you know, we're just having a conversation and you're, like you're just listening to me right now because I'm talking. Mm, no, this listening card is a little bit more like, well, what if I wasn't talking? What if you were locked in a room in complete dead silence? Okay, well, now what are you listening to? You know what I'm saying? That's what that listening card means. That listening card is about like listening to your instinct, listening to your gut, listening to your intuition, listening to the voices in your head. Okay, I don't care. Um, the birds that are chirping on your shoulders, the fairies, the demons, whatever. It's like tapping in, tapping into those other realms. Union. I'm feeling, I mean, we're going to see when I pull these tarot cards, but this union card right away, I was like, in union with your divine self. Okay, getting into union with your divine self. Sometimes when that card comes out, I think of it as a partnership, and it could be a partnership. But you know what? Let's focus on you. Because whether you're in a partnership or not, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Even if you are in a partnership, getting into divine union with yourself, that's pretty, that's kind of a big deal. That's a big deal, my friend. That's important. Okay, let's see what these cards are all about. Okay, so this is you staying in your own fucking lane. And I have to talk about this with every single video that I'm doing because when I filmed the very first Zodiac uh, video, I decided that the motto for 2021 is going to be stay in your own lane. Stay in your own fucking lane. That doesn't mean you can't... <laughs> That doesn't mean you can't integrate and mingle with other people, but stay in your own lane, okay? That has many, many, many very important, very important meanings because I, <laughs> 20, 2021, I just feel like it's going to be a shit show. So it's like, you know what? Stay on your task. So these big cards over here, it's kind of like, this is you. This is you in your own lane. The cards that I'm going to be pulling out over here, this is you with mingling with the space around you. All right. The wind today in Chicago, whew, like these garbage, the, the big garbage dumpsters, you know, how they have those lids. The lids are just slamming. Up and down, up and down, up and down. That's all they've been slamming all day. All I hear is is garbage dumpster lid lids opening and closing. Dumpster lids. Dumpster lids are opening and closing. And slamming. Okay, let's get into this reading. Okay, what do we have for listening? What do you need to listen to? This is your card. This is the Hermit card, Virgo. You can't see it at all. He's just a shadow. I love how, like, I put it up close and it's just black. And then I pull it back and then the image appears as if by magic. And, you know, if I point it out to you, you'll, you'll notice it. But he's holding a lantern. So this is the Hermit. Yeah. Like, literally, 
go lock yourself in the dark. Go just be by yourself in the dark on purpose and see what you hear. This is your card, Virgo. Listening. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. This is about communication. This is also about some new ideas, okay? So there's something that your intuition is trying to tell you about your ideas and then justice, Libra. Okay. There is something that your intuition is trying to tell you and it has to do with, it has to do with justice. Um, and a new idea. It also has to do with learning. Something about information. Information, justice, learning. Mm. Maybe opening the doors to a new idea towards justice. <clears throat> uh, discernment. Chariot, Cancer. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. And the King of Swords, Aquarius. Okay. Huh. All right. So there's something that you want to take action towards and it has to do with um it has to do with working with other people. It has to do with like a collaboration. It has to do with a collaboration. This king of swords, this Aquarius energy. I feel like there's something or some, there's a big idea. I almost, I don't know if this is an idea or a person, but there's something almost like calling to your attention in regards to like taking action towards a, a future vision, okay? Um, okay, so this is about, okay, all right. So this is about collaborating, coming together with other people so there could be a new vision for the future, all right? Let's see. Strength, Leo, the Magician, Mercury, wow, and the Seven of Wands, this is Mars and Leo, all right, Okay, so uh, Okay, so it's kind of like Okay, so you're using this to stay in your lane. You're using your strength and your abilities of manifestation to go on to the future, but there's also this sense of like needing to protect. There's a really strong sense of needing to protect yourself. 
like needing to protect your your divine union with yourself. Manifesting your future, manifesting what you want, having the strength to take chances, having the strength to go out there and to be in the world and to take risks and to get what you want. But then it's like at the same time, you're also extremely protective of yourself. This project, um, probably work-related, um, but I also see this as not necessarily work-related. I kind of see this as branching out or wanting to, or your intuition is trying to tell you to branch out and to start figuring out how to work with other people, how to work with other people towards progress. There's this justice card here. To learn new ideas. <clears throat> to be open intellectually to receiving information. To be open to receive information. You need to open yourself up to receive information. I think you need to do it by going within. You need to spend some time alone. You need to open up your senses, all of your senses, so you can start receiving downloads. So you can start receiving messages from the universe because the universe is trying to give you some messages here. And it has to do with justice. It has to do with justice. So, Virgo. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to, um, it's trying to communicate with you. It's trying to communicate with you. All right. Um, and this is the chariot is all about taking action and initiative with your intuition, <clears throat> with your instincts about working together, <laughs> kind of like stepping up. It's kind of like stepping up into a new role, into a kind of role model. Stepping into <clears throat> stepping into a degree of power that I think you would be comfortable in. Maybe it's not like familiar to you at this point, but I think you would be comfortable there. I think for you as a Virgo, because even though you guys are an earth sign, you are so influenced by air qualities. You have Mercury as your ruler. And Mercury also rules Gemini, which is an air sign. Mercury is ruled by the magician. And even though the magician uses all four elements to do his magic, this is air energy. This is air energy. It's like taking ideas that come out of where? Where do, you know, where do thoughts come from? They disappear, right? Have you seen Empire Records? So it's like, I, and, and yeah, like, you guys are an earth sign, but you guys are so analytical, okay, and like thought process oriented that you would be comfortable in this kind of role, this kind of leadership, this king of swords. This is Aquarius energy. It's very much about being a leader for the future, okay? So even though you're comfortable, you're comfortable in your more earthy Virgo energy, I think that you would be really good stepping up into that position a little bit more. <clears throat> um, you know, there's definitely, but you know, I think that there's definitely this feeling of like needing to protect yourself. And that's maybe what makes you hesitant. Maybe you feel hesitant to kind of step into that kind of role of being a little bit more assertive in, in that regard. Um, you know, because you don't want to, um, you don't want to let your, like, you don't want to 
make, put yourself out there to the point to where you become a target. Okay. So there's definitely some protective kind of things going on here. Self-protection. I mean, I mean, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that you do, you do want to reach out though. You do want to kind of like collaborate. You do want to create a little bit more of a community, integrated <clears throat> kind of like system. Okay, but you might need to kind of go through that process first before this process of kind of really being able to work with other people, people that maybe you're not used to working with, that could lead you into this more powerful role, okay? It's almost like I keep getting the, I can't help it. I can't help but feel like this is kind of like where you're supposed to be on some level. This Aquarius, this King of Swords. I feel like the universe is kind of pulling you towards that energy. It like, it kind of like wants you to step into that energy. And this is your comfort. This seven of wands is your comfort. Just kind of like being the lookout. You know, you're kind of just being the lookout. You're like the bouncer. <laughs> you're the bouncer. So you're kind of like the, the door guy between the inside world and the outside world. So you're kind of just standing there and you're watching who's coming in and who's going out. And if somebody like poses a threat, like you'll step up someone poses a threat to the inside, you'll step up. But until that happens, it's like, all right, I'm good where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So you're kind of like the bouncer right now between like your, maybe between your inner world and your outer world. That's it. This is what I have. All right, Virgo. Hope this helped. Uh, I'll see you guys for December. Bye.